And now it's time for Home Air Reviews with Willie Be a Hobo. Tonight review Rocket Man. Oh my god, this is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life! Rocket Man burning out his fuse up here with spoilers! There's this guy named Elton John who wants to be a musician, but he runs into trouble. His mommy is a hooker and his daddy is a straight up... Well, not really a nerd, but you get the idea of him. He finds out because Elton John was walking home, even though he wasn't really called Elton John, but I don't know his name, so we'll forget that part of him. He sees his mommy doing it and having an affair, and what does he do? He tells the world, with Parkaboli, that I had the affair with Elton John's mother. Now, that's right when you blame him, my boy. He tells his daddy, and of course his daddy splits up with her. So now he's able to live the life of his own. He's able to be free like a bird now. Except that's not really an Elton John song, so that makes no sense. By the way, where were you last week? I thought you were going to do it last week when you went to the movie. I was sick of my man. So why did you go see the movie? The, that's not the point of my man, Commander Miss Andrew. So anyways, he grows up and becomes a really great musician and a piano player and a singer, my man. With the help of his lyrics composer. And the, together, the two of them perform songs in their mommy's basement. I'm dead serious. Come on, at least get a nice box for a home. At least I moved out of my parents' house and I'm living nice and safe in a box. In the closet. From my life, in my mouth. So there, they're able to f- f- perform and have magnificent songs and play backups to all these other hits. And then eventually they run into this record dealer. It's like, oh, I'm going to make you an offer you cannot refuse. Oh, really? Well, I can propose a much better deal than that. Oi, you can't do better than this. Actually, I can. How about you like to be with me? Okay. And so they go off and perform in concerts and whatnot. And Elton John discovers his problem. He has a drinking problem. And a drug problem. Which is why we keep going back and forth between his life and him in rehabilitation clinic. Because the movie actually started with him in rehabilitation clinic. Then we get to all this stuff. And going back and forth and back and forth throughout the whole movie. And we see his problem. He has a drug and alcohol problem. What's that with Ray? Come to think of it, this movie's kind of set up like Ray and Mama. Which is interesting. But anyways, we get to see him actually perform his... His own vocal cords to the songs made famous by Elton John. And he actually looks like Elton John. Much like when Robbie was doing really well playing Freddie Mercury, mama. Or when Jamie Foxx was a great weight judge, mama. So eventually he finally succumbs to the fact that, Oh, I have a problem. I need to get it solved. Straight to the clinic. To the clinic. And he gets his problem resolved. And he's able to perform and do magnificent things without the drugs and the alcohol and all that stuff. And he's been alcohol and drug free ever since. Much like Ray, mama. Except Dustin John's still alive and Ray Charles is up there. And so that pretty much brings the movie to a full circle conclusion. I for one love this movie. Because this is another timeless classic of a music biography. How is it a timeless classic when it's only been out for two weeks now? Well, it's going to be. You get the idea. If you're into music biographies, I say this one's right up there with Bohemian Rhapsody and Ray and Mama. So much for bragging about this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. Would you two shut up, Mama? Oh, uh, uh, this is really Bill saying. Charge! You got charge! I'm gonna you a giant, will ya? Come on, giant! Come on! I promise the money will go towards me performing! This way I can be like a giant!